Hi, I bought a few items last week, but I realized I need to return them. Can you help me? Of course. I'm here to assist you. Do you have the receipt with you? Yes, I have the receipt right here. Great. May I ask what the reason for the return is? Some of the items didn't fit well, and I found something similar that I like. No problem at all. We want you to be satisfied. Which items are you returning? I'm returning a pair of jeans, a sweater, and these shoes. Got it. Let me process that for you. Would you like a refund or an exchange for different items? I think I'll go with an exchange. I saw a jacket and a different pair of shoes I'd like to try. Sure thing. Let me check if we have those in stock. Do you have the items with you? Yes, here they are. Perfect. I'll process the return and check the availability of the jacket and shoes for you. Thank you. By the way, is there anything else I need to do? Nope, you're all set. We'll take care of the return, and if you decide on the jacket and shoes, we'll get those for you. Great. How long does the process usually take? Usually just a few minutes. I appreciate your patience. No rush. I appreciate your help. Can I browse around while you check on the items? Absolutely. Feel free to take your time. I'll call you when everything is ready. Thank you so much for your assistance. You're welcome. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Enjoy your shopping. Hello? Hey. It's been a while. I was thinking, how about we plan that trip we've been talking about? Oh, absolutely. Where were you thinking of going? What about a road trip? Maybe to the mountains or a coastal drive? I love the idea of a coastal drive. When were you thinking? How about the weekend after next? Gives us some time to prepare. Sounds good. Any particular places you want to include? I was thinking of starting from Ruskin City, hitting Brantwood Town, and maybe ending at Hearn Hill. Perfect. What about accommodations? We could book a couple of nights at a beachside resort and maybe try a cozy mountain cabin. Nice choices. And activities? How about hiking in the mountains, enjoying the beach, and maybe trying some local cuisine? I'm all in for that. Do we need to book anything in advance? I'd say let's book the accommodation soon to secure good spots. Activities we can plan as we go. Great plan. Any specific things we should pack? Comfortable clothes, hiking gear, sunscreen, and, of course, a good playlist for the drive. Excellent. Let's make a checklist and confirm the details soon. Absolutely. Can't wait for this trip. It's going to be amazing. Good morning. How was your weekend? Morning. It was great, thanks. I finally had some downtime. How about yours? Pretty good. I caught up on some sleep and binged a new series. Ready to tackle the week? Definitely. Speaking of which, did you get the memo about the team meeting this afternoon? Oh, no, I haven't checked my email yet. What's on the agenda? Just the usual updates and a new project briefing. 
shouldn't take too long. Sounds manageable. By the way, did you get a chance to review the draft for the client presentation? Yes, I did. Looks solid. I made a few minor edits. I'll send it over after our meeting. Thanks. I appreciate your input. Oh, did you hear about the office party next month? Yeah, I saw the announcement. What's the theme this time? It's a 90s throwback party. I'm thinking of going as a grunge rocker. Nice. I might go for the Fresh Prince look. Gotta find a neon windbreaker. Haha, <laughs> that's going to be epic. On a different note, have you had a chance to look at the new software update? Not yet. Is it user-friendly, or are we in for a learning curve? From what I've seen, it's pretty intuitive. We might need a brief training session, though. I'll check with IT. Sounds good. Let me know if they schedule it, I don't want to miss out. Will do. And finally, I heard there's a lunch promotion at the new cafe downstairs. Interested? Absolutely. I'm in. Let's aim for a midday break. Perfect. I'll send you a calendar invite for the Café Rendezvous. Ready to tackle Monday? Ready as I'll ever be. Let's do this. Hey, I've been thinking about improving my English speaking skills. Any tips? Absolutely. One effective way is to practice with native speakers or language exchange partners. Have you tried that? Not yet. Where can I find language exchange partners? You can try language exchange apps or websites. There are many people looking to practice and exchange languages. That sounds good. Any other tips? Watching English movies or TV shows with subtitles can help you get used to the natural flow of conversation and different accents. Good idea. I've heard about reading aloud as well. Does that help? Absolutely. Reading books or articles aloud not only improves pronunciation but also builds confidence in speaking. How about joining a conversation club? Are those helpful? Definitely. Conversation clubs provide a supportive environment to practice speaking and receive feedback from others. I'll look into that. What about vocabulary? How can I expand it? Try learning a new word or two every day and use them in your conversations. It gradually builds a richer vocabulary. These tips sound practical. Is there anything specific I should focus on during conversations? Pay attention to your pronunciation, but don't be too hard on yourself. The key is to communicate. And the more you practice, the more confident you'll become. Thanks for the advice. Any resources you recommend for additional practice? Online platforms like Duolingo, Babel, or even language exchange forums on Reddit can be great resources. I'm excited to get started. Thanks for the guidance. You got this. Enjoy the journey of improving your English skills. Hey! Long time no see. How have you been? I've been good, thanks. How about you? What's new? Not much, just the usual. Oh, have you tried these new cereal bars? They're supposed to be amazing. No, I haven't. 
Let's grab a box and give them a try. Anything else catching your eye? Well, I heard they have a sale on fresh produce today. I'm thinking of grabbing some veggies for the week. That's a good idea. I need to up my salad game. Let's hit the produce section first. By the way, did you find a recipe for that dinner party you mentioned? Not yet. I'm thinking of making something with chicken. Any suggestions? How about lemon garlic roasted chicken? It's simple and always a crowd pleaser. Sounds delicious. Let's grab some lemons and garlic from the fresh produce aisle. Speaking of parties, did you hear about Sarah's birthday next week? Yeah, I got the invite. I was thinking of getting her a plant. There's a garden center here, right? Absolutely. It's in the back. They have a variety of plants. A potted plant is a thoughtful gift. Great, let's make a pit stop there after the produce section. Do you need anything from the dairy aisle? Yeah, I'm out of yogurt. Let's swing by there after the garden center. Perfect. Oh, and don't forget to check the promotions board. Sometimes they have some great deals. Good call. We can save some money on our shopping today. All right, let's get started. Produce first, then the garden center, dairy, and whatever catches our eye. Sounds like a plan. Let the grocery adventure begin. Hey, have you thought about our New Year's plans yet? Oh, not yet. What are you thinking? How about hosting a small New Year's Eve party at home? We can invite a few friends. That sounds cozy. What activities should we plan? Well, we can have a potluck dinner, play some games, and then count down to midnight. Perfect. Potluck takes off the cooking pressure. Any specific games in mind? How about a game of charades or Pictionary? Light and fun for everyone. Great choices. And we can have a music playlist for dancing too. Speaking of which, do we need any decorations? Maybe some balloons, streamers, and of course, a sparkly Happy New Year banner. What about drinks? Should we prepare a signature New Year's cocktail? Yes. A sparkling mocktail for a toast at midnight would be fantastic. And for the countdown, should we get some party poppers and confetti? Definitely. It adds that extra festive touch. Where can we get those? I'll check out the party supply store this weekend. Do we want to set a dress code? How about something casual but with a touch of sparkle? New Year's chic. Sounds like a plan. I'll send out invites this week, and we can get everything ready. Thanks for taking the lead on this. It's going to be a fantastic New Year's celebration. Hey there. How's your day going so far? Morning. It's been good. Started with a cup of coffee and some good music. How about yours? Not bad. Checked emails, had a quick meeting. What's on your agenda for today? I have a project deadline, but I'm hopeful. Also planning to hit the gym after work. Nice balance. I need to get back into the gym routine. How's the project coming along? Making progress. Had a brainstorming session with the team. We're on the right track. 
Speaking of progress, any exciting plans for lunch? Just a sandwich and some fruit today. Trying to keep it light. How about you? Same here. Trying to resist the temptation of the nearby pizza place. Any post-work plans? Thinking of catching up on a series. Do you have any recommendations? Stranger Things is always a good choice. By the way, did you get a chance to read the memo about the upcoming team-building event? Yes, I did. The escape room sounds fun. Are you in? Definitely. I've been practicing my puzzle-solving skills. Should be a blast. What's your go-to escape room strategy? I'm all about communication and checking every nook and cranny. Team effort. Solid strategy. By the way, any exciting news or surprises today? Well, I found out it's Bring Your Pet to Work Day next week. Considering bringing my dog. How about you? That's awesome. Sadly, no pets for me, but maybe I'll get a plant. Ready to call it a day? Definitely. Let's conquer tomorrow. Agreed. Maybe tomorrow we can grab a coffee before diving into work. Sounds like a plan. Have a great evening. Hi there. How's my favorite person doing today? Hey, Mom. I'm good, just caught up with classes. How about you? Oh, you know, the usual. How's everything going at school? It's good, Mom. Classes are a bit challenging, but I'm managing. That's the spirit. Remember, challenges are just opportunities in disguise. Anything exciting happening this week? Actually, yes. There's this club meeting I'm looking forward to, and we're planning a small get-together. A get-together? That sounds fun. What are you planning? Just a casual hangout with friends, maybe some games and snacks. It's our way of de-stressing before finals. That sounds like a great plan. Make sure to balance the fun with some study time. How's your roommate? Oh, he's good. We're both figuring out this whole adulting thing together. The joys of adulting. Have you been cooking or living on takeout? A bit of both, Mom. I'm learning some simple recipes, though. Spaghetti is my specialty now. That's my chef in the making. Speaking of which, any plans for the upcoming weekend? Well, I was thinking of catching up on some movies and maybe exploring the city a bit. Exploring sounds like a good idea. Find some hidden gems. By the way, how's your sister doing? She's good, Mom. We catch up every week. She's acing her classes and enjoying her new job. I'm glad to hear that. Family support is everything. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Thanks, Mom. I appreciate it. I'll call you again soon. Love you. Love you too, sweetheart. Take care and have a fantastic week. Hey! Guess what? I just booked tickets for a train trip next weekend. No way. Where are you headed? We're taking the train to the coast. It's been ages since I had a beach weekend. That sounds amazing. Which train are you taking, and how long is the journey? 
We're on the express train that leaves Friday evening. It should take around four hours to get there. Perfect. Not too long, and you'll have the whole weekend to enjoy. Yeah, and the best part is the scenic route. The train passes through some beautiful countryside. That sounds like a visual treat. I bet the journey itself will be memorable. I'm hoping so. Oh, and did I mention? We managed to get a compartment with large windows. Perfect for taking in the views. Nice choice. A window seat always makes the journey more enjoyable. Now, I'm trying to decide what to pack. Any travel essentials you'd recommend? Comfortable clothes, a good book, and maybe some snacks. And don't forget your camera for those scenic shots. Solid advice. I was thinking of bringing a travel pillow too. Gotta catch some sleep during the journey. Absolutely. A nap on the train always helps you arrive feeling refreshed. I'm a bit worried about navigating the city once we arrive. Any tips for getting around? Most cities have good public transportation. Look into getting a travel card, it usually covers trains and buses. Great suggestion. I'll look into that. And lastly, any must-visit places you'd recommend at the destination? You've got to check out the local market and the beachfront cafes. And, of course, catch a sunrise by the sea. Sounds like a plan. I can't wait for the weekend to arrive. Thanks for the tips. Anytime. Have an incredible trip. Can't wait to hear all about it when you're back. Hey there. How are you doing as the new year approaches? Hi. I'm good, just getting ready for the festivities. How about you? Same here. I was thinking, instead of a regular text, why not share our New Year wishes over a call? That's a fantastic idea. Let's do it. All right, so what are your hopes and dreams for the upcoming year? Well, I'm hoping for more happiness, good health, and a few exciting adventures. What about you? Those sound wonderful. I'm wishing for success in my endeavors and, of course, more time with loved ones. That's a beautiful wish. Speaking of which, any special plans for New Year's Eve? Just a cozy dinner with family and some close friends. What about you? I'm thinking of a small gathering too, watching the fireworks and making some resolutions. Ah, resolutions. Do you have any specific ones in mind? The usual suspects, eat healthier, exercise more, you know the drill. Classic choices. How about we make a pact to support each other in sticking to our resolutions? I'm in. A resolution buddy makes everything more fun. As the year comes to a close, what's one thing you're grateful for from this year? Definitely the relationships and the personal growth. Gratitude is key. I couldn't agree more. Let's continue to appreciate the good things and face the challenges together in the new year. Absolutely. Here's to a fantastic year ahead, filled with joy, laughter, and success. Cheers to that. Wishing you a wonderful new year, my friend. Talk to you soon. Wishing you the same. Take care and let's catch up in the new year. Oh no, it's already 6 p.m. I think the store might be closed. Really? Let me check. 
Oh no, you're right. It closed at five. That's too late. I needed to pick up a few things. I'm sorry about that. Is there another store nearby that might still be open? Maybe, but they might close soon too. I guess I'll have to go tomorrow. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to keep track of the time. Tomorrow it is then. I really needed those things for tonight. It's frustrating when that happens. Can you manage without them for tonight? I guess so. It's just a bit inconvenient. If you need anything urgently, I might have some extras at home. You're welcome to borrow. That's very kind of you. I might take you up on that offer. Absolutely, any time. We all have those moments when time slips away. Yeah, I need to set better reminders for myself. Happens to the best of us. Let me know if you need any help with that. Thanks, I appreciate it. I'll make sure not to be late next time. No worries. We live and learn. Tomorrow is a new day. You're right. Thanks for understanding. Anytime. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Will do. Thanks again. Have a good evening. You too. See you around. Hey, I heard you're thinking about starting your own business. That's awesome. What got you interested? Hi. Yeah, I've been thinking about it for a while. I've always had this passion, you know? I want to turn it into something more. That's fantastic. What kind of business are you considering? I'm thinking of starting a small coffee shop. I love the idea of creating a cozy space for people to relax and enjoy a good cup of coffee. That sounds like a wonderful concept. Have you figured out a location? I've been scouting a few areas. There's this spot downtown that seems perfect. Good foot traffic and a charming vibe. Location is key. How about the legalities and paperwork? Have you started looking into that? Absolutely. I've been researching permits and licenses. It's a bit overwhelming, but I'm taking it step by step. You're doing great. What about the interior design of the coffee shop? Any themes or specific vibes you're going for? I want it to be warm and inviting, maybe with a touch of rustic charm. I've been collecting some ideas on Pinterest. If you need a hand with the design or setting things up, count me in. Starting a business is a big endeavor and having a support system is crucial. Thanks. I might take you up on that offer. It's a bit daunting doing it all alone. What about the menu? Have you thought about what kind of coffee and snacks you want to offer? Oh, for sure. I want a variety of specialty coffees and some unique pastries. I want people to have options beyond the usual. That sounds delicious. How are you planning to market the coffee shop? Social media, maybe? Yes. Definitely. I've been learning about Instagram marketing. I want to create a buzz before the grand opening. Smart move. And what's your timeline? When do you envision the grand opening? I'm aiming for early next year. Gives me enough time to get everything in place and build anticipation. That's a solid plan. I'm excited for you. 
Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Starting a small business is a journey, and I'm here to support you. Thanks a bunch. Your encouragement means a lot. I'll definitely keep you in the loop as things progress. Hi there. Mind if I share this table? Not at all. Please, have a seat. I'm Mike, by the way. Thanks. I'm Jenny, nice to meet you. I was getting some work done, and this place seemed cozy. Same here. It's my go-to spot for a change of scenery. What brings you around? Just escaping the office walls, you know? Plus, the coffee here is fantastic. Do you come here often? Guilty as charged. This place has the best espresso. By the way, do you have a favorite coffee drink? I'm a cappuccino person, through and through. How about you? Espresso all the way. Nothing beats the simplicity of a good shot. So, what do you do when you're not conquering the corporate world? Conquering might be a strong word, but I'm in marketing. It's a whirlwind, but I love it. How about you? I'm a graphic designer. Spent most of my time creating visuals that hopefully make people stop and think. Graphic design sounds fascinating. What drew you to that field? I've always been fascinated by the power of visuals. A well-crafted image can communicate so much, you know? Absolutely. It's like a language in itself. Do you have a favorite project you've worked on? Tough question. But there's this campaign for a local charity that I'm particularly proud of. It's amazing how design can impact social causes. Well, it's been great chatting with you. I should get back to my to-do list. Same here. But hey, we should do this again. Maybe next time, we conquer the corporate world together. Absolutely. I'm up for the challenge. See you around, new friend. Hey there. How's it going? Hey. Not bad, just trying to survive Monday. You? I feel you. Mondays can be tough. Did you catch up on the? Yeah, had a relaxing one. Watched a movie and did some reading. What about you? Nice. I did some hiking. By the way, did you understand yesterday's math lecture? Not really. I'm considering asking the professor for some extra help after class. If you want, we can go together. Strength in numbers, right? That'd be awesome, actually. I always find these equations confusing. Speaking of confusing, did you see the notice about the upcoming exams? Yeah, it's like they're trying to test us on everything we've ever learned. How are you planning to tackle it? I'm thinking of forming a study group. Maybe we can get a few more classmates involved. That's a good idea. Count me in. Together, we can conquer the exams. On a lighter note, did you hear about the Drama Club additions this Friday? Yes. I've been practicing my monologue. Are you thinking of auditioning too? I'm on the fence, but it sounds like a lot of fun. Maybe we could both give it a shot? Absolutely. It's all about trying new things, right? Oh, class is about to start. See you later? Yeah, let's catch up after class. 
Good luck with the day. Thanks. You too. See you in a bit. Hi there. I could use some assistance. My flight got delayed, and I'm not sure what to do. No problem at all. I'm here to help. Can I have your flight details, please? Flight XYZ-123 is supposed to depart at 2.30 p.m. Got it. Let me check. Ah, uh, yes. There's a slight delay. New departure time is 3.30 p.m. Apologies for any inconvenience. No worries. What should I do in the meantime? If you have some time, I recommend exploring the airport. There's a good coffee shop around Gate C. Coffee sounds good. Where is it? Head towards Gate C, and on your left, you'll find Brew Haven. They make excellent coffee. Great. I'll grab a coffee and wait. Any other suggestions? Enjoy your coffee, maybe browse a bookstore, or simply people watch, and keep an eye on the departure screens for updates. Good ideas. How will I know if there are changes to my flight? We'll make regular announcements, but you can also check the screens, or feel free to return here for updates. Thanks. By the way, where are the restrooms? Right behind you, near the large departure sign. You can't miss it. Perfect. One more thing, is there free Wi-Fi? Absolutely. Connect to the airport network. No passwords required. Thanks for all the help. I appreciate it. Not a problem at all. If you need anything else, don't hesitate to ask. Safe travels. Will do. Thanks again. Goodbye. Goodbye and have a wonderful journey. Hey there. Welcome. Do you want something to drink? Thanks. I'd love a cup of coffee if you have it. Coffee it is. Do you take it black or with cream and sugar? Just a bit of cream, please. Here you go. Let me know if it's to your liking. Ah, perfect. Thanks so much. What about you? Do you want anything? I'm good for now, but thanks for asking. By the way, how's your day been so far? Not bad. It's been busy, but a good kind of busy. How about yours? Same here. Work has its moments, you know? Anyway, if you change your mind about a drink, just let me know. Will do. Thanks again for the coffee. No problem. By the way, do you prefer tea or maybe something cold next time? I'm a tea person too. Maybe next time we can go for that. Sounds like a plan. Oh, speaking of plans, any exciting ones for the weekend? Not really, just the usual. How about you? I'm thinking of checking out that new movie everyone's talking about. Want to join? Sure, why not? A movie night sounds perfect. Awesome. Let me know if you need a refill. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, and I will. Looking forward to the weekend plans. See you then. Have a great day. You too. See you soon.
Hey, we should catch up soon. When are you free? Definitely. I'm pretty flexible this week. What days work best for you? I'm busy on Monday and Wednesday, but the rest of the week is open. How about Thursday then? Thursday sounds good. Morning or afternoon? The morning works better for me. How about 10 a.m.? Sounds perfect. Let's meet at our usual spot. Agreed. See you at 10 o'clock on Thursday. Can't wait. It's been too long. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. By the way, do you prefer coffee or tea? I'm more of a coffee person. What about you? Same here. Let's grab a coffee then. Sounds good to me. Should we plan to stay for an hour or so? Yeah, that should be enough time to catch up. Great. See you Thursday at 10 o'clock for coffee. Sounds like a plan. See you then. Hi there. I don't think we've met before. What's your name? Hey. I'm Sarah. Nice to meet you. Sarah, nice name. I'm Alex. So, what brings you to this event? Thanks, Alex. I heard there's an interesting talk happening, so I thought I'd check it out. How about you? Same here. I love attending these events. By the way, do you come to these often, Sarah? Yeah, whenever I can. They're a great way to learn new things and meet interesting people. Totally agree. So, Sarah, what do you do for a living? I work in marketing. It can be hectic but I enjoy the creativity it allows. Marketing sounds exciting. I'm in software development. It's a different world, but I like the challenges. That sounds interesting. Do you enjoy coding? Absolutely. It's like solving puzzles all day. By the way, Sarah, where are you from originally? I'm originally from Seattle, but I've been living here for a few years now. How about you, Alex? Oh, nice. I'm originally from New York. Moved here for work and haven't looked back. That's cool. Big city to big city. By the way, what do you do for fun? I love hiking and playing the guitar. How about you, Sarah? I'm into photography and reading. Exploring new bookstores is one of my favorite things. Photography is an amazing hobby. We should go hiking or take photos together sometime. That sounds like a plan, Alex. Let's definitely do that. Great. Well, it was fantastic getting to know you, Sarah. I'll see you around? Absolutely, Alex. See you around. Hey! We should totally check out that new coffee shop downtown. When do you want to go? Oh, I've heard about that place. How about this weekend? This weekend works for me. What day and time are you thinking? Saturday afternoon. Around 3 p.m. Sounds good. Saturday at 3 p.m. it is. Do you have any preferences for the type of coffee? I'm open to anything. Surprise me. Will do. 
By the way, any particular reason you chose that coffee shop? I heard they have a cozy atmosphere, and the reviews mention amazing pastries. Nice choice then. Looking forward to it. Anything else you want to do after coffee? How about we stroll through the nearby park if the weather is good? Perfect. Coffee and a park stroll it is. Can't wait. Me neither. It's been a while since I explored that part of the city. We could also grab dinner if we're up for it. What do you think? Sure, why not? Let's keep the day spontaneous. Awesome. Saturday at 3 p.m. Looking forward to our coffee and park adventure. Likewise. See you then. Take care until then. You too. See you soon. Hi there. I'd like to order a sandwich, please. Of course. You're in the right place. What type of sandwich would you like? Hmm, I'm in the mood for something with chicken. Do you have a recommendation? Our grilled chicken sandwich is a popular choice. It comes with fresh veggies and your choice of sauce. That sounds delicious. I'll go with the grilled chicken sandwich. Can I add some avocado too? Absolutely. Avocado adds a nice touch. Would you like any sides or drinks with that? A side of sweet potato fries, please. And for the drink, I'll go with a lemonade. Got it. One grilled chicken sandwich with avocado, sweet potato fries, and a lemonade. Is that for here or to go? I'll have it to go, please. I'm in a bit of a rush. No problem. Your order will be ready in just a few minutes. Anything else? Actually, do you have any dessert options? Something sweet to round off the meal. We have a great selection of cookies. The chocolate chip is a favorite. Perfect. Add a chocolate chip cookie to my order. Thanks. You got it. One chocolate chip cookie coming up. Anything else? That's it for me. How much is it? Your total is $12.50. You can pay at the counter once your order is ready. Great. Here you go. Thanks for your help. Thank you. Your order will be ready shortly. Enjoy your meal. Thanks. Have a wonderful day. You too. If you ever crave a sandwich again, we're here. Hey, we should catch up soon. When are you free? Definitely. I'm pretty flexible this week. What days work best for you? I'm busy on Monday and Wednesday, but the rest of the week is open. How about Thursday then? Thursday sounds good. Morning or afternoon? The morning works better for me. How about 10 a.m.? Sounds perfect. Let's meet at our usual spot. Agreed. See you at 10 o'clock on Thursday. Can't wait. It's been too long. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. By the way, do you prefer coffee or tea? I'm more of a coffee person. What about you? Same here. Let's grab a coffee then. Sounds good to me. Should we plan to stay for an hour or so? 
Yeah, that should be enough time to catch up. Great. See you Thursday at 10 o'clock for coffee. Sounds like a plan. See you then. Oh no, it's already 6 p.m. I think the store might be closed. Really? Let me check. Oh no, you're right. It closed at 5. That's too late. I needed to pick up a few things. I'm sorry about that. Is there another store nearby that might still be open? Maybe, but they might close soon too. I guess I'll have to go tomorrow. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to keep track of the time. Tomorrow it is then. I really needed those things for tonight. It's frustrating when that happens. Can you manage without them for tonight? I guess so. It's just a bit inconvenient. If you need anything urgently, I might have some extras at home. You're welcome to borrow. That's very kind of you. I might take you up on that offer. Absolutely, any time. We all have those moments when time slips away. Yeah, I need to set better reminders for myself. Happens to the best of us. Let me know if you need any help with that. Thanks, I appreciate it. I'll make sure not to be late next time. No worries. We live and learn. Tomorrow is a new day. You're right. Thanks for understanding. Anytime. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Will do. Thanks again. Have a good evening. You too. See you around. Hi there. I don't think we've met before. Where are you from? Hey. I'm from New York. How about you? Oh, nice. I'm from Los Angeles. What brings you here? I'm just here visiting some friends. What about you? I'm here for work. How long have you been in town? I arrived yesterday. I'm staying for a week. How about you? I've been here for a few days already. I'll be leaving next week. Cool. What do you think of the city so far? I love it. There's so much to see and do. How about you? I'm enjoying it too. The food here is amazing. Definitely. Have you tried any local dishes yet? Yes, I had some great street food yesterday. What about you? Not yet, but I'm planning to try some tonight. Do you have any recommendations? You should try the tacos at that food truck near the park. They're really good. Thanks for the tip. I'll check it out. So, what's your favorite thing about New York? I love the energy of the city. There's always something happening. How about you? What do you love about LA? I love the weather and the beach. It's so nice to be able to relax by the ocean. That sounds amazing. I'll have to visit LA sometime. You definitely should. I can give you some recommendations if you decide to come. That would be great, thanks. Ugh, I'm hungry. Haven't had lunch yet. Same here. What are you in the mood for? I could go for some pizza. 
How about you? Pizza sounds great. Any particular place in mind? There's a new place that opened up nearby. Heard their pizza is amazing. Let's give it a try. Are you thinking of eating in or getting it to go? Eating in might be nice. We can take a break and enjoy the meal. True. Plus, I could use a break from work. What time are you thinking? How about in 30 minutes? Gives us time to wrap up things. Perfect. See you in 30. Can't wait to satisfy this hunger. Me too. I hope they have a good selection of toppings. Fingers crossed. I'm partial to pepperoni and mushrooms. Classic choice. I'll meet you at the pizza place in 30 minutes. Sounds like a plan. Let's make it a lunch to remember. Absolutely. See you soon. Hungry and excited. Hey sweetheart, we need to pick up some groceries. Ready to hit the supermarket? Yeah, mom. Can we get some snacks too? Of course, but we'll also grab the healthy stuff. Let's make a list. What do you want for snacks? I'd love some chips and maybe those granola bars I like. Chips and granola bars, got it. Now, we need fruits and veggies. What's your favorite fruit this week? I'm feeling apples this time. Can we get the really red ones? Red apples it is. How about veggies? Do you want to pick out a veggie for dinner? Broccoli, please. I want to help make broccoli and cheese tonight. All right, we're almost done. We need some dairy milk and cheese. What kind of cheese do you want? Let's get the one that melts really gooey. Makes the best grilled cheese sandwiches. Gooey cheese it is. And milk for cereal, right? Yep, can't forget the milk. Oh, and we need ice cream. Just a small one. Sure, a small treat won't hurt. Now, last thing on the list, any special requests? Can we get those cookies you love? The ones with chocolate chips? You got it. Anything else, or are we ready to conquer the supermarket? We're ready, Mom. Let's get all the good stuff. Remember, no racing with the shopping cart this time. Okay, Mom, no promises. Hello? Hey, it's me. How are you doing? Hey! I'm good, thanks. How about you? I'm doing well, just catching up on some work. What have you been up to? Not much. Just relaxing at home. Did you hear about the new movie that's coming out? No, I haven't. What's it about? It's a thriller about a detective trying to solve a mysterious murder case. That sounds intriguing. We should definitely watch it together when it's out. Absolutely. How about this weekend? Sounds like a plan. I'll check the showtimes and let you know. Great. Oh, by the way, have you tried that new restaurant downtown? No, not yet. Is it any good? Yeah, I went there last week and the food was amazing. We should go together sometime. That sounds fantastic. Let's plan for it next week. Perfect. I can't wait to try it again.
Me too. Anyway, I should probably get back to work now. Sure thing. Talk to you later. Goodbye. Goodbye.